I also was not going 110% for my business and a big part of marketing something that people can't smell and feel in person is Oh, God. I just, what's my intro? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, she's priceless, and I'm back here with another video. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Um, I've tried to record this video a million times. I have recorded this video a million times. But basically, I want to introduce y'all to my baby. My baby is Priceless Palace. Now, if you watched my last video, kind of mentioned my candle business. I really wanted to officially get on here and introduce myself as a business owner, as a CEO, and introduce this new entrepreneurship journey that I am have been on, and I am going into my second, heck, am I gonna second year? Yeah, my name is Elise. I am 24 years old, and 25 in two months. Okay. I am the owner and CEO of Prices Palace. Now, what is Prices Palace? Prices Palace is a luxury soy candle business. It's my baby, like, it's it's what I've been working on, what I've been putting a lot of time and effort, money, the whole shebang. I just kind of wanted to get on here and introduce my business and kind of talk about what inspired me to get into candles. Here's 2020 and I started off thinking I wanted to do lashes. Now I did do it. I, I made my name Prices Minx. Yeah, one thing about me, my last name is gonna be a household item. I'm gonna put on for the prices, okay? I bought like 500 pairs of lashes and I was on campus at the time at Howard University. I was in undergrad and I was in the dorms. So this was like super lucrative. Like all the girls needed lashes and I made some sales. It was it was good, it was good. And then COVID happened. So when COVID happened, I was like, uh, yeah, this is not lucrative. This is not working for me. We gotta try something else. So I was doing research. I thought I was gonna do drop shipping for a little bit, but that wasn't like what I wanted to do. I wasn't passionate about it. And I was like, I want something where I can like really make a brand of myself and like be unique and something that's not super, like super overly saturated. So I started looking at my house, around my house, and I was just like, hmm. okay, I see wine. I thought I wanted to move to make my own wine for a minute. Maybe I will in the future. I don't know, but not right now. But I was like, okay, can't do that right now. And then I'm like looking at my windowsill and I'm like, I see 20 candles, no exaggeration. And I'm like, oh my God, I wonder how to make candles. So I Googled how to make a candle and I was like, ain't no way it's this easy. Ain't no way it's this easy. So then I went on a deep dive and I started watching videos, doing research, taking notes, finding vendors of just like supplies. And that's kind of how my baby was born. We were doing okay. And one reason why I want to bring my candle business to YouTube because I want to start documenting my journey because I'm starting to see growth and I want to document that for other people that need help or just like you know are curious about like the candle business industry or just businesses or for people that are curious about entrepreneurship in general because in addition to this I also run my own photography business um, I do all, all types of side hustles okay well versed around the getting money and getting money fast the thing about my candle business it's it's been a roller coaster sometimes it's up sometimes it's down and right now we're like we're like here we're stagnant and I've learned a lot and I kind of want to take out on this journey on things that I've learned things that I made and just like any questions you have on like business and entrepreneurship I'm going into my second year I moved I had to put my business on hold and I started it back up like I've had a interesting journey so I just want to take out on that journey so if you have any questions about candle making tips where to get started or like how I got started feel free to leave them in the comments I plan to take out on my journey of making candles so i plan on adding things to my business which i'm super excited about because i go into my two year sales are kind of slow right now and i understand like the economy and whatnot but like i also was not going 110 percent for my business and a big part of marketing something that people can't smell and feel in person is social media and I honestly was not going as hard as I needed to I was not marketing the correct way and so I really dedicated the last month 
to being consistent on social media, on my Instagram, on TikTok. I just set up the Pinterest and then like also just trying to learn about advertising and just like marketing and started implementing paid advertisement and things like that. So I'm learning a lot. And with this knowledge, I feel like we should share what we like. I know a lot of people don't are kind of like skeptic about what they want to put out and whatnot because but I am so confident in my business and my brand and I know it's super unique it can't be duplicated and if you try to duplicate it I'm gonna go on to something else not on to something else but I'm gonna like do something 10 times better like one thing I have learned especially within the candle making community it's so like facebook groups they offer so much information there's so much information that is out there and available to us that it is no reason why my business should not be a six figures next year so i'm really taking the time to put all the money and time effort and just like work into growing this business because i know i know i feel it deep 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 in my soul that this is gonna be big if you want to follow me on this journey make sure you follow me my personal page is she's priceless but also follow priceless palace on instagram follow us on tiktok and follow us on pinterest and on lemonade which is if you don't know what lemonade is it's basically if instagram and pinterest had a baby instagram pinterest and tiktok had a baby and they put it in an app and i think it is branched off of tiktok because there was that whole thing where they thought TikTok was not gonna be a thing or like they had, it was ridiculous, it was ridiculous, it was ridiculous. But nonetheless, TikTok is still a thing. Yeah, so that's a little bit about me. That's a little bit about my business. I currently have, I think 12 candles on available right now and I just released Campus Chronicles at the end of November. Make sure you shop Campus Chronicles. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. But yeah, make sure you shop Prices Palace. This is this candle right here that I showed at the beginning. My summer collection. Honestly, probably my favorite. I'm not gonna hold you. This is probably my favorite candle that I put out. Because I just, I love fruity scents. But being a candle maker, it's challenged me to try different scents and fragrances. And it's also helped my nose and just like, my, just my knowledge of just like perfumes and fragrances. And just like describing different scents so i've gained a lot of skills that i think are super super great follow me i already told y'all where to follow i don't know why i'm doing this my arms kind of do oh don't play me Joe. don't play yeah make sure you're following me um make sure you follow my photography page because little do you know this does most of the photography for my business which is another good skill something that I'm super glad because I rarely have to come out of pocket I've worked with photographers for my business but like it's super it's a good soft skill to have because at the end of the day I can always do something myself which is amazing it's beautiful it's great 10 out of 10 will always recommend but yeah so yeah make sure you follow photography business at priceless dot photography underscore on Instagram and priceless dot photography on TikTok I'll put it on the screen but yeah that is all for today's video make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up make sure you like comment share subscribe as always and peace out as be your girl she's priceless i love you all Mwah. bye